The Ford Tractor Distributor Assembly. This video is brought to you by Just Aid N's Ford Tractor Parts and Restoration Service. This video covers the assembly of the distributor found on Ford tractors from 1950 to 1952 with serial number 263844 and higher. Begin with the distributor base. Install the bronze bushing into the recess in the base. Then insert the oil wick, followed by the oiler port. Slide the timing arm assembly on the base shaft and clamp with the screw and nut. Place the gear thrust washer atop the bushing and slide in the shaft assembly. Slide the shaft collar on and align the holes in the shaft and collar. Then insert the button head rivet. Slide the gear on as shown, align holes, and insert another rivet. Next, assemble the electrical primary terminal by first combining the brass screw, the primary conductor, and insulator. Then insert into the base as shown, followed by the rubber bushing, washer, and nut. Now place the cam and weights assembly on the shaft, followed by the retaining ring and flat spring. Mount the breaker assembly to the breaker plate as shown using two number 8 mating screws. Mount the condenser to the breaker plate with a number 8 screw. Place the breaker plate assembly into the distributor base and secure with two number 832 screw and lock washer assemblies. When mounting the breaker plate, bend the primary conductor toward the edge of the base so it doesn't interfere with the screw terminal. Then place the primary conductor over the screw and on top of the condenser terminal. Secure the primary conductor to the screw terminal with a number 632 brass nut and lock washer. Attach the two housing clamps by inserting split rivets through the mountain clamp and securing in place by bending the rivet tips. Place the rotor cap over the shaft and flat spring then place the terminal housing on the base. Clamp the housing and the assembly is now complete. To see more videos from Just 8 Ends, remember to like and subscribe.